What is good? I'm back again with your old mate Mark. Like, comment, subscribe, do all of the good things, and enjoy the video. Now, hopefully, I can cut that and use the audio instead of the terrible recording I've currently got. But we'll see. Either way. <laughs> That's YouTube business. Y'all don't even know about that over here. We're uh, back in waiting for you with a clean car. Mafia. Boss man's feeding the tiny the little pigeons. Folks, our whole operation's at risk. Uh, Frank has just betrayed us. Tommy. Hey, yes. Tommy, two hands. You know that. Can't pull my gun out. Tough day today, Tom. Sure is there, bud. Vinny, we gotta what's keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Frank sees a look Your horror, kneecap you special. Know. The old ways work. Whatever right. it takes, Tom. Whatever it takes. Okay. Hey. Dime store detective. this. It's the boat. Alright, I need to get this bad boy up to 50 miles an hour. And now for the latest news. The Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our scheduled programming. Whether for dinner, the opera, or the country club, Barringer's Women's Department has the perfect pair of shoes for the occasion. Find that special pair on your next visit to Barringer. This is WBDS, broadcasting live from Barringer. Alright, so there's been an airship crash. It's not the freaking Hindenburg, is it? Well, either way. Let's go get this bad boy up to 50 miles an hour. Just real quick before we start the mission. It's gonna need a long ass road. Can we use 
use the ram. Let's go see Biff, see what he knows. I know why I need to run everywhere. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something the Don might want to know. Well, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Got shoes, an axe, and a meat grinder. Some bocce balls. A guitar. It's a weird shop you got here. Not gonna lie, Biff. You're an odd duck. It's just random murder weapons. I mean, hand tools. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Someone on my block has a 22. I'm guessing most people on the block have some sort of heater. Welcome to a WLH Sports Report. There's a sense of anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own Lost Heaven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back right. and have really so taken not their sure rivals when, to task. some point, Tommy's going to lose his mind and just start random to killing to people. One man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied to see it in his little side eyes. He's unstable. Foghorn, Jack Seidel. His solo home run in the bottom of the fifth inning of Game 5 turned events in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was cancelled out by the Lancers in Game 6, and we now have a powder keg finale that is sure to have everyone glued to their radios. Can Bunny Smith bring it home from Lake Heaven? Or will the cannons tower oh, that's great. Red have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. Ooh, another internal. Okay, okay. What do we got here? Everything okay? Is it extra no. shiny glass. No, it's not. The Lost Heaven Lancers play the Empire Bay Cannons at the Armory. One team certain to take over the trophy. After a heroic campaign filled with an exhilarating twist, Captain Bunny Smith will lead his men onto the diamond to play for the Lancers' first series victory in over two decades. Game 7. Terror Tales. They are, in fact, Tales of Terror. Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. 
He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No, no, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? I can't pull my guns out. That's what's going on. Eyes have gone all funky. You look like I feel. We return now to the coverage of Game Seven of the Gold Series, and by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we're hey, underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this exciting game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them, and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and West oh. Heaven can host a game Almost with best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Helms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seem to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the armory. The home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. The mission of Lost Heaven Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to serve you. Start your day with WLH 570. Crazy broad jumping out in the street. Empire Bay is no longer out of reach thanks to Blue Heron Airlines. Visit Lincoln Park, see the Grand Upper Bridge, and marvel at the Alba Building. Blue oh, Heron all flights right. each day, flying out of Lost Heaven International. Contact your travel agent for scheduling and reservations. Well, I'm supposed to be a crooked gangster taxi driver by now, so I might take out all the other taxis in town so I'm the only one left or take out all the cops I may have to do both if I start taking out all the taxi drivers the cops are sure to let get on so it may just be that everyone's gonna die looks like the place That hasn't changed. Oh well, you're not very good at reversing, but back into the spot we need a clean getaway. Now we're about to go shoot up some feds. And Frankie, you son of a bitch, Frank. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. 
I can see Lancer's manager, Frankie Hodge, prowling in front of the gun. It's 100% how you don't tail a car. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place, or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion. And you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the Gold Series, which at one stage had appeared doomed. But they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. Happening. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Stop using that damn indicator. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. Life. If he can catch Maybe one, it could life. run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. That's ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. Uh, he was shit. convinced he had They're it. They're taking you to the airport, Frank. The tail. Smith remains cool under pressure, not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was Sip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith hey. finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. Must have a Lancers win the game. This is Lost Heaven Radio, broadcasting on 570 AM. A job well done depends on tools and materials that aren't going to let you down. At Edmunds, all items are guaranteed to be of the highest quality and best price locally. For fixtures, paints, lumber and more, visit Edmunds Tools, home of the Edmunds Price Guarantee. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Gauge. Well, why'd you turn my car around, you son of a bitch?
are you this stupid? There! Get him! Okay, I may have messed up a bit here. Down the airport, form an FBI escort, leave safe house for an exchange on Hangar 5. Alright, so we just need to stop the hand. Easy. Start this one a little bit real quick. Uh, <laughs> we know he's going to Hangar 5. We picked up the comic book. Now we just need to make sure he understands that he wasn't supposed to. Oh shit. Damn, you got 13 goddamn hangers? I don't believe you. Can I fly a plane? I can't. That'd be cool though. That'd be real cool. So it turns out I've already been spotted. I'm a maniac running around with a freaking shotgun sticking out of my. What's up, Jim? <laughs> Dead it. Oh, 
No. Restart the chapter. Oh, does that mean I'm going to have to tail him again? I want to do it how it's supposed to be done. And not just go in there and murder everybody. Although, I do like murder. We'll see. We'll see when we get there this time. If we can keep it under wraps. <laughs>